Hi everybody and welcome back to the Paperless Movement YouTube channel. I'm Tom Solid. I'm the founder of the Paperless Movement and the i framework. The framework that will help you to get actually things done. Many of you, I know that and it was for me the same. We take notes the whole day and then we have struggled finding the information. And when we need to get things done with this information, then we realize our system is not working. So therefore I made this i framework. I'm coaching this to my inner circle members. So if you're interested in learning actually what to work best for you in your productivity system make sure that you go over to paperlessmovement.com and check it out there i have a free guide to download there for you that gets you started in no time and the best thing is whenever you start a membership with me you will sponsor this youtube channel as well that helps me to help you by making the reviews of these tools, providing you the content you need to get things done. Now, without further ado, we will look into Taskade. And I have to tell you, I'm pretty surprised. Why this is, we will find out now. Okay, here we are in Taskade. This is a really interesting approach again. So we have this fancy background. This reminds me actually of Meister Task, which has an equal look. I'm not a big fan of fanciness and rounded colors and all this. You will see later what I mean about this. But I still was very surprised when I was digging into this. So I have here a workspace created in Taskade using Notion. ClickUp, whatever, you should know by now what workspaces are. Those are the top level of your uh, projects and tasks and so on that you will put into this. So this means I have a workspace here and I have projects. Then we have tasks, we have a roadmap, we have templates, we have the completed tasks and I can upgrade for money. Here we are on the free version and I think I can show you all the features of Taskade in the free version already. If you're interested to do this, you can check it out for free as well. When you coming from Notion, for example, a way how you implement projects and tasks in Notion is that you have two different databases. You have a projects database and you have a task database where you just mention the project and they get connected and the tasks show up in the project and so on. So to me, it looks the same here. So we are in projects and let's create a new project. We call it test project. And in this project, I can now start adding tasks, but we don't do this yet. We will just test something. So when you are in this project, the new created test project, we already have a chat window here. So I can say, hi there, new project team. And right there. So we always have a chat connected with this. We can even start a call. I have no idea who I'm calling. I guess I'm calling myself right now. No, I'm starting a call and then I can add people to the call. I like that. Can join the meeting. See, now I'm in this meeting and I can add other people. Obviously, it's only me right now. So we can quickly have a call, talk about done. We still have the possibility to chat in here, done. So this is a great replacement for Slack actually. We can enable notifications. So when we go to the settings for notifications, I can, you know, it shows you how to do this and then you can say what exactly you want to get uh, notified about. And then the thing is when I make a test task and I tick this off, so another task. And here on the side, we have actually different options to choose from. So we can make this a round thing. And now I could just indent this. It's really pretty straightforward. So you have some information there. We can add a due date to these tasks. See the due date just comes below. And we have, we can assign the task obviously. So I assign it to myself, for example, and you see the avatar showing up here. And then we can add comments to the task. What is this thing? Okay, and I can also mention people there. Bam. So now I have a comment and you see it reflected here. I click here, it goes up and I can reply to this. I don't know. Okay. We can also upload files to the comments. We can also upload files in here. So this is more like a stream style as we have it in Slack. So everything is also movable. So I can pick now this, including the subtask and just move it up there. 
So pretty flexible. So I can add another block and I can even add a paragraph, paragraph block. Okay, so this is another part of the project to be done. Okay, just call it part two. <laughs> and here we will add also another block. Is this possible? Let's just do it this way. Part one. I can move this up there now. This is very intuitive. Okay, as you can see, I can fold these. So I can make it smaller. So as soon as I have subtasks, it becomes foldable. So it keeps a great overview of the thing. And now let's just add another task here. So when I just write something, for example, something like that, random. You see, it's not a task. However, I just can click here and make it a task, the whole list. I could also switch it to this, for example, and hard this. I don't know, maybe you like this. I'm, I don't really need this, or I can make it different. See, and it's always reflected here in the notifications, what I'm doing. People would say, what the hell is Tom doing there again? Okay, and that's just fancy stuff. When we go now up here, we have the option to view the project in different views. So when I go to board view now, you see already my test, uh, my test project, and it split out this into different boards. So now the question is, how does it do this? But it seems that it picks the, the block, it picks the single tasks, so I could add subtasks this way. Subtask board, so we will see it when we switch back. something like that. And I can also take this and bring it over here, for example. So this works. And I can close this. And now when I go back to list, you see here now subtask board. Okay, so I created it this way as well. So the question now is, how can I integrate it into this part? Well, I think all you need to do is to intent this. Let's switch back. See, now it's here. So it wasn't properly added to these blocks. You remember when I moved the block upwards above this, it wasn't integrating this. So we just still have to pick this and move it into the block. So there's something different going on. See, when I make the tab, it goes inside the block now. And now it will make much more sense when we go to the board. View. Now we have part two and part one, and it looks still this way. So we can now go to action, for example. So in the action list, it's just the action list, and we can go to a mind map. And here we see again, and something that I miss here is you know that I hold my space and I can navigate around. So this is you know, I can close this, but um, yeah, so I can show my whole project as a mind map. And ClickUp also provides mind maps. This is the better solution how you do this right. So because it picks the different parts of my project and you know makes it this way. And I really like this. So I could also build up the project on my mind map already. So let's do this. Let's just create a new project. So now I go to mind map and now I can give this project a title project mind map and if you follow this channel then you know I'm a big fan of mind maps anyway so I really appreciate that this is there so we give this project a due date and here again we have now here the first task but here we also have add block okay so this means when I go here I have down here also the thing that I can make this a block so this is already a block and I say um, okay there's no hash but I can say part one again and see with hitting enter I can make now a task one and going down there I make task two but if I click here I will make subtask one and subtask two and so on I could now go on and say sub sub task and so on and I can create another block part two of the project and do exactly the same thing. So it added already three lines there. I could also delete this. I can also use shortcuts in order to delete this. 
task three or task uh yeah you 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 get what i what i want here so now i can go to my list view again and there we go this was the mind map that i created and now i have everything in place i can assign it to people i really really like this it shows properly compared to before it's a bit confusing that you know the part one is below the project mind maps and then we have the part two and so on we could also make out of this the different stages of our process you know you can go wild here and i really like the fact that we have the chat function there and we can start a call right away once you have your team on there that you will become really interactive and here you can change the colors backgrounds or whenever you have a different mood or random mode so every day you get a random picture obviously you can upload your own pictures and so on another thing that i want to show you before i finish here we have a calendar and here is the task and i can actually sync it with my calendar okay so here i have a two-way synchronization as you know it from to doist or click up now as well this means the task will show up on your calendar i can move it around on my google calendar and it will update automatically in taskgate as well that sounds awesome i really like this will i use this actually i'm working with coda right now and i'm about to switch to coda from ClickUp. with coda i found something that is a hybrid between ClickUp and notion if you actually want to find out how i will use coda for my team and how we do the work in the paperless movement make sure that you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss this video this being said this is where the icore framework really comes in handy because it will tell you if actually taskgate might fit your needs better your personal needs you can use it as a personal task manager i can totally see this as a personal project manager it would work great but it might also fit into your team it's very minimalistic but still fancy features that we have here i really like the fact with the roadmap here so you see all the tasks coming up so this might fit better your needs and therefore i really encourage you check out my inner circle membership and the icore framework um, i coach over there in order to find out what tools really work best for your specific needs and if you haven't already subscribe to this channel and i'll catch you up next time